On two outs facing Gonzalez. Morgan fouls the pitch Ooh, off and hits him in a place that doesn't... Well, Rich, does it feel good? Hey, now. Okay, two pitches later, Morgan. The single and Reggie Sanders would score on it and the Reds would go on to a victory. Cincinnati wins its fourth game in its last five. Cubs lose, Cubs lose. Where Mike Piazza had the night off. Top eight, four two Dodgers, man on for Mark McGuire. Scott Radinsky gets him to pop up. Tom Prince, Piazza's replacement. Going into the dugout to make the catch. Let's see that again. This is railing cam. Bottom of the ninth, 4-2 Dodgers. Gary Gaetti leading off against Todd Worrell and Gaetti. Number 17 for Gaetti cuts the Dodgers lead to 4-3. To and we're going to continue with Tom Lampkin off of Todd Worrell. It's the looper. Center. That ball is trouble. And it ball drops. Game tying run on first after a Royce Clayton single runners on first and second. Danny Schaefer There's bunts. Todd Worrell can't, can't make the play. play. It's an error on Worrell. Load the bases. Bring in Mark Guthrie to face Delano to Shields. Grounds the short stop for just one out. Tying run scores. Bottom of the ninth still. Two out. Mark McGuire with a chance to win it. Base is juice. Darren Hall in. Two on, two out. He Strike three. We go to extra innings. In the top of the 15th, we're still tied at four. Bases loaded. Brady Raggio walks. Walks Wayne Kirby. He's batting a buck 72. It's 5-4 Dodgers. And Tom Prince delivers a two-run single to the left. It's 7-4 Dodgers. Bottom of the 15th. It is not over. Ray Langford facing Mike Harkey. And it's a two-run shot. Cuts the lead to 7-6. Had no action for so many innings. The 15th comes in action galore. Parkey pulled Darren Dryford on to face Luis Ordaz, who hits a chop at a third to finally end this game. 7-6 win, and it was Prince Spaghetti Night on Monday night in St. Louis. A three-run 15th gives the Dodgers first place in... Do they? Uh -oh. There's some adversity. Lewis to left. Bautista drops it. Daryl Hamilton scores. So does Bonds. 4 nothing Giants. John Estes on the hill facing Kenny Lofton. He was just absolutely magnificent tonight. Never threw a curveball until the fourth inning. Then he started dropping the Yackers. That was Greg Colburn, Jeff Blauser. Hello, goodbye. Okay, hello, goodbye, Crime Doug. And there's a shot deep into left center field. <laughs> Hamilton back. The Braves have won it. Adversity this. There's your candle. Burn it, sis. The Giants have been 68 and 2 in leading after eight innings. That was uncharacteristic. Eric Davis back on the field, back in the batter's box, back to right center field, and caught near the warning track. Top of the fourth. Matt Williams at the plate for the drive, and he goes to right center. Davis is out there. So is Jeffrey Hammond. Greg, Eric, just a little over exuberant. Eric, of course, a great center fielder's day, and he says, well, yeah, I forgot I was playing right field, Jeffrey, but hey, nobody got hurt on the play. That's day for Matt Williams, one for eight. Not a bad day for Hammonds. Crushed, plunks, 460 feet later, two-run shot, two for three, three runs, three RBIs for Hammonds. 20 home runs this year, then Justice going down to Randy Myers. Big day for the Birds, Davis returns, and the O's clinch a postseason berth. Might be the reason right now the Two, Lenny Webster behind the plate. Justice, doink! Hit ball, then he hit Webster in the head. Scribner couldn't get it, but take another look at it. And Dave pointed out earlier, he's got a very long, loopy swing, and he couldn't finish that one. He ended up clunking Webster on the head. He was okay. Chad OJ looking real good. Rafael Palmero, there's some movement on that ball. Still no score. Bottom four, Baines batting. That one on the inside corner. Still tied in the fifth. Mark D. Grissom for the Indians. Solo shot. 12th of the year. Indians win it 4-1. Chad OJ, solid. Indians pitching lately. OJ, right. Very good. Very important. Ronald Mavroa by two. Tino against Brent Saberhagen. First and second. Tino, touch them all. Makes up 4-3. 42nd of the season. First and 62 at bats. Bottom nine, it's 6-6, six, six. it's Paul O'Neill, Derek Jeter, Jim Corsi. And Jeter to short center, Michael Coleman's got wheels. He doesn't have wings though, and he couldn't fly to that one. And the Yanks win, final score, 7-6.
Boomer Wells, five and a third, 12 hits. Jackson's at first, and he goes to second. Stop short of the base. <laughs> Fool's right near him. Everybody is safe. Brewers up two to one. Now nine four, top six, Jeff Abbott coming in. And guess what? Jeff Abbott going deep for his first career home run. The lead is 9 6. Three batters later, one on for Ozzie Guillen. Power surge. Ozzie Guillen has the home runs. Yes, he does. It's 9 8. Bottom seven, same score. Darren Jackson facing Nelson Cruz with one on. Jackson delivers. Her added insurance runs the Brewers up 11 to 8. But guess what? It's Albert. Yeah, and it's Doug Jones. Guess what? Change up. Robin Ventura. Fastball. See you, Robin. Probably looking for the change up. Jeff Abbott. Fastball. Probably looking for change up. Game set match. Doug Jones continues to be fuddled. It looks like a wiffle ball when he throws it. In the bottom of the third. His 38th home run of the year brings the Rangers within seven to four. And the Rangers fans, you know, they're all they're all fired up and they're also musically inclined. Could you tell that the Rangers would be mathematically eliminated if they lost? And that is hit well down. And you know what? Jeff King did it for him. Doubles to left. The game tied at nine. Here comes the second. In the ninth inning. Jet Hanson, J. Bell score. Royals win 11 9. Posted a season high 19 hits, but still needed that clutch two run. Larry Dirk got into a pretty good chess match. Bobby Abreu draws a walk against Pete Smith. Next batter, Vigio. Grounds to kill the Overis, who dives, throws. Vigio safe. Veris, Veris Biddy. Not good. Here we go. Bagwell, after a bell fly out, inside loads the bases. Bochi to bring in the lefty, Heath Murray. Durker sits Luis Gonzalez, pinch hits the right-handed Tony Eusebio. This is brain power working. Shipley, no play, throws down 4-2, they're still loaded. Bochi out again, he brings in Jim Bruski. What does Durker do? He counters Bill Spires. You sank my battleship. Spires goes to left. Astros down 4-3. Base is still loaded. Next move. He stays with Bruski. How come? Well, didn't have any left-handers left. That's why Murray's is the only one in the bullpen. Sometimes the answers are right in front of you. Simple. Two down. Durker stays with Ricky Gutierrez. How come? All right, I'll answer it myself. Good. Oh. Gutierrez strikes out. Padres win. Astros lead over the Pirates now. Three and a half. A piece of dental year, floss looking to gain ground on Pedro Martinez and the Expos. Pedro had a rough night. Pirates up 4-1. Right ground Walmack. ball to second, booted by Tony Bootsy. Womack. Leadoff man is on. Now, after a Mike Lansing single, Henry Rodriguez up to make something happen. Single and pass the diving Womack. Mark Rudzelanek would score. Expos within two now. Orlando Cabrera pinch running for Rodriguez. Cabrera steals second. The throw into center. Lansing would score. Cabrera would move to third. Expos within one. Infield in with a tying run at third. David Segui up the shot to second. Womack, great catch, and that saves the lead for the moment. Darren Fletcher up against Rich Loisel. Fletcher singles up the middle. Cabrera scores from third. We're tied. We go to extra innings. Bottom 10 now. Anthony Telford facing Kevin Young. And Young, he did this once before in the season. He's been fighting the thumb injury. And Young opposite way, the game-winning home run for the Pittsburgh Pirates. So the man who talked the talk Sunday walked the walk Monday. Kevin Young had challenged his... Dardo throwing wild. Erstad advances to third with one out. So twin skipper Tom Kelly goes to the pen for right-handed Rick Aguilera to pitch to lefty Garrett Anderson. Anderson would then fell off one, two, three, four. Rich, feel free to count with me. Five, Five six, six, seven, or seven. Eight. Oh, eight. I'm sorry. Okay, I lost count. And then with a three and two count, Anderson takes Aggie deep to right. A three-run home run against Aguilera who's in misery, and the Angels have a victory, a rare victory for them, of course. On is Sky Dancing. Second Decker, Griffey's 51st of the year. His first in eight games, becoming the sixth major leaguer to hit 100 or more homers in two straight seasons. Bottom three against Williams again. Griffey going deep, but the question is, is it fair? It's foul, and Griffey just having a ball can only smile at that Rodriguez close call. Bottom five, Alex Rodriguez pops one up, hits a speaker. This is the kingdom. Carlos Delgado looks like a member of the M's the way he played that. Great catch. Rodriguez is out. 
Your next high. batter, Griffey Jr. against Williams again. Travel day tomorrow. Well hit ball. Back she goes. Going, going. Goodbye, baseball. Junior's second home run. His 52nd of the season. Number 52, and then Jays down 6 0. The former Am, Jose Cruz Jr. against Ken Cloud. A two run home run, number 24 on the year for Cruz. Jays within four, top nine. Up 7 3 of the Mariners. Enough for Heathcliff Slocum to hold it. Uh, in this case, yes. Thames win it 7 3, but we know what the story is now. Don't. Incident with two on. Hey, he just busts out the whoop and stick there, and I've used all my little home run ditties tonight. You could use some of mine. Can I? Yeah. Okay. I'll think of some. Just pass it along to me. Number 26 for Higginson. Tigers take a 6 1 lead. Hold on. Against Matt Beach, Yardworth. Huskies 22nd. It's 3 1 Phillies. Top 7, 5 1. Nobody out. Bernard Gilkey. And guess what? The hitting streak to 12. He's got 17 homers. It's 5 2. Next batter, Butch Husky said, I want to visit the 600 club. Wow. Pluto. Pluto going with, you went back to the planetary thing there. All right. Willie Sturgeon went to right in 71 in the 600 level, and that was Butch Husky, only second player ever to do it. 5-3 fills, Brian McRae against Jerry Spradlin. His ninth is 5-4 fills. Still top eight, Gilkey. Where's that one going? Jupiter! 5-5 five, five is 18. Top 10, 5-5. Five, five. McRae on third. Alfonso on first. It's Ryan Karp. Gilkey! Got it. Valentine all fired up as the Mets win 10-5 in 10 innings. High fives, low fives, but you know what? You got another one to play. They win it 5-5. Five, five. Pop it up down the line. And Kevin Jordan, Jordan backpedaling. Uh-oh. That's a double for Pratt. The only hit allowed by Winston in seven innings of work. It was 1-0, Philadelphia, bottom of the second. Winston's first major league at bat. You're looking at it right now with two outs, and he delivers through the hole. That scores Bobby Estalea, Winston's first big league hit, and his first big league RBI. And you know what? His first big league victory. Two Larry Walker. Uh-oh. Alex Fernandez put it in the wrong place. Solo shot for Walker. Number 44. Two pitches later, Andres Galarraga. I think we've seen this before. You know, the big cat lives down in Florida. Not only the 529-foot homer last time he was in town, but he also hit two others over 460. That was 450. Then Walker singles to center. Two more runs come Claytonward. Larry Walker up to 370. Rock's defense turns four double plays. Good day for Benny at the plate. Reached the threes at 296.